I'd like to do is focus on tonight's X Factor presented by HyperX. And what it is tonight is for you guys to break down who you think is going to take it all. You're going to take one player who you think will do it. But because I'm feeling generous, I'll give you a dark horse. So say, Jam, you're first. The dark horse is, is funny because calling someone a dark horse in this event when everybody is so good is really hard to do. My pick for overall favorite is Tokido. I think throughout the game's lifespan from season one, the minute the game came out until now, he's been the most consistent, strongest player overall in the game. And so I expect in this tournament for him to have a good showing. Whether he wins it at all or not, it's hard to say, but I think he is my safe choice. As far as a dark horse, I guess mine would have to be Fudo. Even though I don't think he is a dark horse in any race that he's in, right? He's such a talented player. I think that he hasn't pulled out a victory in an event as big as this, and I think that this maybe could be the one. Okay. All right. Z, do you agree? My pick to win it all, also the Mada face. <laughs> Tokido has been the most consistent player in a game that is designed to expose a lot of inconsistencies. And when you look at him throughout the entire seasons and his ability to adapt, and also he's been blessed by the Capcops yeah, uh, with sure. his character that's been getting stronger uh, with each iteration. And I believe he's also trying to add to his accolades. So he's already won Evo. He's come very close to Captain Cup in second. Um, you know, Ely's right up there for some of the biggest Street Fighter tournaments in the world. He needs to do that in order to get that torch passed from Daigo to him. So I think he's really going to aim for that and really cement his legacy. In terms of Dark Horses, my man, uh, Infiltration from South Korea, he has been on an absolute tear coming back from uh, EVO Japan. Then he won the first premiere of the CPT season in Atlanta final round. Uh, you know, he was the most dominant force in season one, fell off season two, had some uh, personal issues, but now he is single and ready to mingle and he has to pay <laughs> for all of that alimony. I think he's going to be hungrier than ever and uh, he's going to be overpowered. It's really going to be 2018, a story between those two players seesawing back and forth and everyone in there is just a spectator to watch.